Yeah, basically, currently we have uh, the branch that is operating at Ladysmith at Square uh, which is started uh, last year around May. Then after that, uh, we decided also to open another one that is in Pitamarispec in Elenskop. Uh, but the one that we started there in Ladysmith, we started with uh, the women's. Then when we go on, we go on. We also saw the necessity that if we can also cover also the youth. So we started recruiting the youth, then we, we also managed to get the youth. Then they started learning. So we are doing. Basically, we are doing now. It's a uh, two programs actually. It's CPFL, which is for the women. Then the PCS, which is for the youth community youth that we are operating in. The CPFL, which is for a woman. So what we do, we just categorize them. If they come for registration, that is where we categorize them. So that is where we determine whether the woman can write, uh, can write. So we categorize them into three, three groups, which is A1, A2, and, uh, and B. So if she can read and write, can do both, she falls under B. But if she can't write, that is A1. So that is where we start from the alphabet, teaching with alphabet, teaching her to write the name by combining this alphabet. And also we taught, we teach also numbers as well at the same time. So after we see that now she can be able to pull out all the alphabet to write her name and the name. That is where now we are taking her now to the computer. Because the alphabet are on capital letters and also the computer, the, the keyboard is in capital letters. Of which it makes it easier for her to, to be able to recognize the alphabet. So the ones that can read and write, they go straight to the computer. But how do we determine that as well? We also give them maybe a paragraph to confirm what this woman can read. She must read the paragraph. Then if she's able to read the paragraph, that is where we say now, okay, you can read, you can write. Because even when they register, we just bring the registration form blank. So she must write her name. That is where we determine whether she can write or not. But not in front of the others. We just step back for her confidence, because sometimes she must be shy to say, I can't write, I can't write. But if we are with you one-on-one, -on -one, she will say that, no, Danami, I cannot write. Then you pull up the register. Now you know where she falls, whether she falls A, she falls B, uh, and the way we are categorizing them. What basically I'm doing, I'm more like coordinating these two programs. I'm coordinating these two programs. I have to ensure that the program is running. There is a material, there is resources for, for the program. Yes, I will appreciate that uh, the opportunity that I have been given and I hope that I will still bring more than I will keep on carrying on. Both courses are new. So for now, since they are new, even the material, we are just developing, developing material for, for the guidance on how we teach, uh, the lessons, on lesson one, what do we do, lesson two, what do we do for both programs. Cause pro both programs are new, but now we are getting there. So of course now we are still to figure ourselves uh, on, on the duration. So we determine the PCS for youth now. We say, no, we cannot do it for long. We must make it uh, for six months. Then after six months, uh, they finish. For women, we're gonna take the one year.